Senators, I want to know, would Senator Gordon be willing to address that? You know, I can, I can address this because I authored this law and we asked those questions, but I have an expert here, two of them. I will, I will let them answer that because they have done extensive Attorney studies. Attorney Chong, you are recognized. Mr. Francisco also, would you like to speak or only Attorney Chong is sufficient? Yes, Thank Attorney you. Chong. Thank you, Madam Chief Justice. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, honorable members of this court. Um, if we look at the competition of the COMELEC, uh, they are using deceptively the maximum number of voters per precinct because there are precincts out in the field with only 100 plus voters, Madam Justice, sirs, madams. They are presenting to you 800 voters at 80% voter turnout, that's 640 voters. But that is not the maximum for all clustered precincts uh, throughout so, uh, the country. What percentage of that would be, would, uh, they, be, be uh, involved in the elections? They said, Madam, it's about 32% if I am not wrong. So 32% would have around 800 uh, voters Only registered. And the, for those who did not have the biometrics, you uh, deduct another 5%? How, no, how many were, do not have biometrics? No, madam. Those without biometrics could not be, could not yes, be able I to know, vote. Yes, I know, I know. Because the uh, 800 would be for the registered voters. So you deduct yes. those who, without biometrics. And I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the COMELEC had manifested how many did not have biometrics? About 3 million. Yes, but Okay, so you so, deduct that, and then 80%, so you would have 600. 640, You would madam, have the maximum. 30% of precincts with about 600 voters. Yes, but that's 30 correct. 30% in how many precincts? 32% uh, that would be, that's about 92,509 clustered again, precincts. Again, again. 92,509 clustered precincts operating on election day. At about 32%, you have about 30... 30,000 or 20, 24 to 20, 30,000 uh, precincts. But there are also precincts with only 500 and less. And then when you get the 80% voter turnout, that's 400 voters and less. And there are barangays with only 120, 140, 200 voters. So those barangays can finish their voting quite fast, Madam Chair. Are you willing to concede um, that the uh, scenario, the dire scenario that was being painted for very long voters' lines will only be perhaps be true for 30 percent of the precincts? I do not exactly agree with the COMELEC, Madam Justice, Chief Justice, Sirs, Madam, because in their computation, in their computation po dito, they included the 45 minute of preparations for the BEI. We do not include that in the computation of the voting experience because the voter is not there at the time of start of voting. We know that the teachers will be there at 6 o'clock in the morning. Balloting starts at 7 o'clock. The teacher will prepare for one hour the machine and all the documents that they have to do. But that is not part of the voting experience, Your Honors. But they computed it deceptively in their computation to show that the voting will extend so long. And also, Madam Chair, uh, Your Honors, they were also computing the closing and the transmission, which takes another one hour. The voters are no longer there. That is not part of the voting experience. If you are to be honest with this court, and this court deserves honesty, whether you are ordinary citizen or you are a high or you happen to wear the badge of public office, this court deserves honesty. They should Ask remove. for Attorney Tolentino to come here. That's okay. Uh, so we don't need to count the preparation time. That's 45 minutes. We don't need to count the transmission time. That's one hour and 45 minutes out. Yes, uh, Chief Any, Justice. Anything else we should deduct from the voting experience? We should also remove, uh, uh, Madam Chief Justice, the time that they computed at uh, on-screen verification at 22 seconds. They were computing that 22 seconds when, in fact, the receipt could be given. Um, let us say, for example, if, if I may go near the machine. I, I don't know. I wasn't able to time it. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry that that did not happen. Uh, what, uh, how many uh, uh, seconds did it take for the, 
from the time of the uh, pushing of the print button and the uh, time that the uh, uh, receipt was uh, yanked off? It didn't take more than 10 seconds or how long did Mad it take? Madam Chief Justice, yes. they computed 20 seconds for no on screen, uh, 22 seconds for on screen, plus 10 seconds for the printing of the receipt. And they have a problem with the yanking. Of course, Madam Chief Justice. We do not need to yank the receipt. You just you need a scissor. But you, are you proposing that we give every voter a scissor? No, Madam Chair. It's like this. The I thought dangerous <laughs> weapons are prohibited. No, Madam Chair. It just happened to be that this is the only scissor available. But I was actually proposing a child-friendly scissor, the one with the blunt edge para wala hong masugatan. Ganito po ang setup in the teacher, so you, madam. So the, the COMELEC will still have to procure scissors? There's a teacher that's really assigned to the BEI to assist the voters. There's a teacher, one of the BEI. But, but are the BEI supposed to even be touching the receipt? And no, he, no, he madam. Will, she, will be able, she or he will be able to see the votes? No, madam. We can position. It's all about management, madam, and processes. Uh, the, push, the teacher is actually there to assist the voter. As a matter of fact, they use um, a folder in which they will put the ballot of the, the voter will go to the teacher, put the ballot in the folder, and it is the, sometimes, in most cases, it is actually the teacher that puts in the, the ballot with a folder on top to cover the ballot. That's the reality in the precinct, uh, Madam Chief Justice, Your Honors. Ganito po. Okay, I think we get it already, no? That point. Yeah. Yeah. And then the teacher sometimes in most cases is the one that really feeds it. Okay. So if the teacher is there, might as well the teacher be Tutulong na rin siya sa gunting. And make the gunting. Ah, okay, taga gunting na rin. Basta nasa gilid siya. Okay, nakatalikod. May I have attorney Tolentino please come to the podium? Uh, Madam Chief Justice, if I may just add. Meron pang are you uh, uh, still uh, Going to point out to another activity that uh, can be eliminated from the time? We can remove the 22 seconds from the on screen. That's 22 seconds per voter. Well, uh, I don't know whether uh, we are you, going to touch that part. When that you is insert your suggestion. Po, yes, Puma, okay. Chief Justice. When you insert po the, the ballot, um, the, Justice Velasco actually uh, correctly pointed out it is better for the voter, the voter will really prefer to see the printed oh, well, in, in receipt any case, than reading oh, that's it That's your there. suggestion. Okay. You can, can I now have Attorney Tolentino come to the uh, podium, please? I want to ask him a specific question. Thank Attorney, you, Madam Chief Justice. Chong, thank you. Uh, thank you can I ask Commissioner Lim if uh, the chair is no longer around? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Can I ask the chair? Sorry. Um, there seems to be an easier solution to the cutter problem, so each precinct can be provided with a scissors. Scissor, a pair. But uh, I think that is something for you to consider rather than for us to tell you. Uh, the other thing is. So, Your voters... Honor, if I may, just on that point, yeah. because we did think about that. Again, one of the problems that was identified is that. A lot of our voters like to take souvenirs during the voting process. In fact, that's our problem with the pens that are going to be used. So the scissors will also be a, be a victim. Oh, so come election day, including the receipts.